Yeah, I've actually just came across a story recently. So uh, Bret Hart must have been doing an interview. Uh, <laughs> I saw show. this. He saw it. So um, yeah, yeah. He was, talk- he was talking about Bill Goldberg. So uh, I'll uh, get it up now. Um, here we go. Can you still hear me? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I think you're frozen. So all good. Yeah, I freeze, but you can hear me. So that's the main thing. Um, <laughs> so here we go. I always thought that if Goldberg got into the Hall of Fame, then Barry Horowitz should have gone into the Hall of Fame. Horowitz can actually wrestle. Goldberg never could. I think he got in there for her and everybody he worked with, Pat said. Later, add in fact, WWE should swap Goldberg out for Horowitz. Um, well, he was right about hurting everybody. He hurt me, motherfucker. Yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's right. Horowitz could actually wrestle. Horowitz is, I actually just spoke with him like not too long ago. I had him on my show and he was nothing but nice. He had so much knowledge to give because it's like the rising star with the veteran. And he was like nothing, but he didn't, he didn't have one bad thing to say about anybody. And maybe that was by design or whatever. He didn't say anything, but nothing but advice. Yeah. Given. And it was really, he was a nice guy. Uh, I think he should be in the hall of fame for what, for all the work he did. Yeah. I mean, he actually, he was campaigning for a, uh, like a um, what, enhancement talent wing in the Hall of Fame, and I don't know enough enhancement talent to say if that should happen or not. But I'd say he would be number one. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, if the fans realize just how important those guys are, and nine times out of ten, they're better wrestlers than the so-called superstars. Right. right? Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. You know? It's like. Uh, you're only gonna look. You're only gonna look as strong and look as good as I want you to. And when that's their job, I mean, he made a fucking living out of it. Shit, he was with the Fed for what? A good decade, right? Yeah, yeah. if not longer. Good. Yeah, longer. Yeah. So he was making a six-figure year income. He got to do it, and he's you know living his dream. Yeah, um, we actually done like a Mount Rushmore, didn't we, of uh, jobbers, and it was him. Uh, Drain Gr- uh, Gil Gilberg. Uh, who was who was the other ones we uh, put on it again? Uh, uh, Brooklyn Brawler. Brooklyn Brawler. I forgot who the other chap was. Uh, I think it was Dwayne Gill's partner. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> forget his name. Yeah. Oh, Mike Sharp. Mike was Mike Sharp on there. Mike Sharp. That's it. Yeah. Oh, Mike oh, Sharp. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And then Berlin train. 